It's January 19th, 2018. I'm 36 years old, and since I was 13, I have not been free. So let's talk about it. Good morning, everybody. Shout out to all my law-abiding criminals out there. Hope you're keeping it positive, staying focused, moving forward. Wanted to make this video today because I've been waiting on this for so long. Don't know if you could see that, but it says United States Courts, Savannah, Georgia. Inside was this. You can see that's my name there. United States District Court. In as much as you completed your period of supervision on the date shown above, you are hereby discharged from supervision of this office on the above sentence. So besides the obvious reasons of why this would make me so happy, you got to know a little bit about my history. See, I'm just a big kid at heart. I've always been that way my whole life. But it doesn't really mix well with prison. So I spent a lot of years struggling with who I was, what I was supposed to be, and what I was actually going to turn into. You can't go in prison being soft. You can't survive, you can't make it that way. But all I wanted to do was have fun and love people, you know, get along. To make a long story short, I don't really think that struggling with my own personality helped me a lot with figuring out my life and trying to get everything together. So, what ended up happening is I spent over half my life in and out of the system because I did not know who I was. So I've done time five times in my life. I've been to juvenile twice and I've been to adult prison three times. State of Georgia, state of South Carolina, and federal. So you can see why I would be so excited about finally being done. Because when I say that I've been in the system in some way, shape, or form, I literally mean that. Since 13, have never been free. I was either on probation, I was either on parole, or I was inside. And it's not just about the fact that I'm finally free. The most exciting part is that I know I'm done. For lack of a better way to put it, I learned my lesson. You know, these last 10 years that I had to do in federal prison were some of the hardest of my life. I had a daughter. I had gotten in trouble before I knew that she even existed. And I just felt like I missed my chance. But I didn't. I got out. Now I'm back. And I'm doing better than ever. And that makes me more happy than I can even describe to you. So the moral of the story is this. I was a hopeless failure. Believe me. Everybody around me, I ain't gonna say everybody, a lot of people around me did not believe that I would ever change. They did not believe that I could do it. And I don't blame them. After all those times of going back and back and back, how could you trust me? So, you know, the point is that if I can do it, anybody can do it. If there has ever been a true, hopeless scenario, it was mine. And I still made it out, so I know that you can too. So I hope maybe that, you know, me getting my papers today can be some motivation for one of you guys and um, help you to maybe get through, man, because it all comes. It comes for us. We just got to wait, man. Patience has never been a virtue for a lot of people that live the kind of life that we have lived. But trust me, just slow down, take it easy, have faith. Your day is coming. I'm going to wrap this one up for the day. Just wanted to say, as always, man, whoever you are, 
wherever you are, if you're out there, you're struggling, you're going through it, stay strong, stay positive, keep pushing. It's going to be over for you one day too. You just got to keep your head on, keep it in the right place. Until next time. But I'm a man on a mission. I'm a man on a mission. I'm a man on a mission. I'm a man on a mission.